What's up everyone, Fritz here again with another episode of Sneakerhead Ambition and today I'm going to do an episode for you that's just going to be a brief recap of what happened on Yeezy Day yesterday. Uh, that was on Tuesday, August 2nd, so I'm just going to go over a brief kind of rundown of what took place over the course of the day and what that could possibly mean for botting Yeezys in the future. So if you're not aware, basically yesterday Adidas did a great job and pulled one over on pretty much every botter. Uh, and essentially made it very difficult for us to bot anything, right? Going into the day, if you're not aware, typically Yeezys drop on Yeezy Supply, which is the website, which if you are a botter or trying to get pairs at any level of scale, right? That's the site that you're running bots on. They do have an app that is similar to the sneakers with Nike, the Adidas confirmed app. They typically don't drop that many pairs on there. And even if they do, they drop more pairs on Yeezy Supply, which again is the site that we can all bot. Uh, going into the day, they had mentioned that they were going to drop on Adidas, confirmed, and the Yeezy Supply, but just based on what had happened in the past, we obviously thought that they would drop more on Yeezy Supply. Uh, that ended up being not the case at all. Like I said, it was anticipated that they would probably drop a couple pairs on confirmed, but in reality, pretty much every pair that we had looked at going into the drop, that, you know, there was probably 10 to 15 pairs that were really going to be profitable, right? Okay, maybe two, three, four of them were unconfirmed. Pretty much every pair that we were going to go for as resellers was put on confirmed, right? You had the, both of the foams that dropped, ran for Sesame's, hyperspace is some, right? But that was really it. The turtle doves, right? All the slides, some of the foams, right? All of the 350s worth anything, all, any of the 700s. They were all unconfirmed. So again, that resulted in a lot of people losing a lot of money because again, those are the shoes, or I didn't even mention the turtle doves and the red stripes, right? Those are the shoes that going in, you're like, man, I'm gonna throw everything I have at these. I'm gonna make thousands of dollars within you know, the next hour on a skew. Pretty much all of those were unconfirmed. Um, and again, like I said, a lot of people ended up losing a lot of money just because there weren't pairs to go for in the volume that they thought were gonna be there. I'll be honest, again, I just try to give a neutral take on what's happening. I'd give, obviously give my opinion on some things, but um, I think that they did a great job, right? Adidas did an outstanding job because I, I'll be honest, I was in different chats all day. Um, I didn't hear that many people hitting, right? And they definitely dropped them unconfirmed. So they definitely did a good job. Um, there were bots that had a module, but people don't really have confirmed accounts like that because like I've mentioned, it's really not been a thing. So again, they did a great job, right? I think the general public probably had pretty good success on this, but again, it is what it is, but they did a pretty good job of making it harder for us to hit you know, more than one pair or so on the confirmed app. Now, some people might ask like, what does this say about where we're kind of headed as far as Yeezys go, as far as a release method goes? Uh, I have two kind of thoughts on this. Uh, the truth is likely somewhere in the middle. The first thing is after the first like, four hours yesterday, I kind of started to have the idea in my mind that like they weren't really going to drop anything on Yeezy Supply, which just quite frankly was the case. They really didn't until like 9, 10 p.m., 8, 8 10 p.m. Eastern when they dropped the foams. Uh, they really didn't drop anything on Yeezy Supply, right? They did drop pairs, but that doesn't mean that they're pairs that anybody's going for. A lot of them sat there and then they had to pull them because they didn't sell out. So I do think that that's a little scary as far as like, botting Yeezy Supply that I thought that was the trend then that might have just been for the day. So that obviously, I, I know a lot of people are thinking that and they're like very worried about that. Now, with that being said, I think it was nine days ago that they dropped a lot of slides on Yeezy Supply. So like, like I said, the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. Maybe they do go to more confirmed, you know, I, I don't know. But again, it's not like they've been making this slow transition to it. They've really kind of just did this all in one day. Maybe it was for the day, maybe it's a sign of things to come, but try to not overreact either way because like I said, it's been like a week since they dropped on Yeezy Supply and that went great. So just keep that in mind into the lead up to this, uh, you know, just moving forward as far as Yeezys go. Don't overreact to it, but it definitely is something to watch moving forward. And like I said, I don't wanna make it out like they didn't drop anything on Yeezy Supply. Uh, I didn't run ACO on the day and they did drop both pairs of the foams towards the end of the day. Uh, it just was really nothing for like over 12 hours, which is kind of crazy. Um, Cause I think I sat down, the first one was at seven and they didn't drop the phones until I think 8 PM if my memory is right. Um, which is nuts that like a lot of us sat there for 12 hours and there was really kind of nothing. Um, like I said, phones were, you know, great profit. 
um, but they dropped a lot of those earlier in the day. I know they dropped the Onyx on Confirm, so that wasn't even full stock, so we didn't even get a full run at that. Um, but I did run for five SKUs on the day. I'm gonna have a live cop up um, in a couple days, but I just wanted to get this out just discussing the day in general. But, you know, I ran on five SKUs, I think. I ran on both foams, like I said. I ran on the Hyperspaces, Sesames, and the 450s for, you know, ACO. So I did run, like I said, I don't wanna make it out to be like they didn't drop anything on Yeezy Supply because they definitely did. But just as I've kind of articulated here, it really wasn't what we thought. And there weren't that many opportunities to really throw a big setup at. Just a quick rundown of kind of how I did on the day. Like I said, I will have a live cup up, but I did end up hitting 62 pairs. Uh, you know, I, I guess I'm happy with that as for all things considered on the day, but it really was disappointing just because I didn't even run a lot of my Gmails. Uh, I only ran, and like I said, I'll get into this deeper, but I only ran Trickle and Whatbot twice on both of the foams because um, I was trying to save Gmails and there just didn't end up being that much to run for, right? So it was disappointing to have a big setup, have hundreds of Gmails and just really not get a chance to really throw everything I had at something. But I did hit 62 pairs between those. I had a couple people run out of money. I had a couple ACO people have other people max out their cards on like hyperspaces. Uh, so there was a lot of nonsense going on yesterday. So, you know, 62 pairs, it, you know, I would have been shooting for hundreds had we had a traditional just mostly Yeezy supply day. But like I said, just with everything that happened, I'm pretty happy with that on the day. Just a few things about just botting and bots in general before I wrap this up. Uh, I do think that bot prices are definitely going to drop after this, just because this is a big day leading up. There's not like a big day like this for a while. Uh, I know that sneaker sales, just by me selling shoes, do well in August and September because it's back to school. So the next month isn't that great, but there should be some things dropping that can be profitable. Uh, and then there is a slide drop, I believe on the 22nd and the 26th, 27th. So like, you know, there are Yeezy drops coming up where we'll get to see how this plays out, how much stock is back on Yeezy supply, if any. So we will see that. I do anticipate there being Yeezy supply drops with those slides. So the, we do have that coming up and I think the 700 Vantas. So, you know, bot prices might dip just because they didn't do so hot yesterday. A little uncertainty in the market always is good for a good price drop. Uh, and there's just not, an, you know, I mean, anything in the immediate future. So if you're looking to get a bot, they might dip some again after this. And uh, I would just focus on the next couple of weeks if you are looking to make money botting on Shopify and automation. Uh, definitely get those straightened out and make sure that you're able to make money when things restock or drop in limited quantities on Shopify. So, you know, just do that. But as far as where the market is right now, right, there's not another big day like this again for a little while. So, like I said, prices might go down, sentiment might be down, but, you know, the drops will be back and I'll be back with them. Like I said, I will post a live cop in a couple days. Uh, I've got a couple, like I said, a couple drops to kind of cut through. Uh, and I will have a more in-depth analysis of what worked for me, you know, what Gmails worked, uh, what they work in bot, AYCD, because I did run a good amount of both, uh, go over proxies, all of that. So if you are interested in that, just check back in a couple days and I will have that up with the footage from the day and those drops. But that's pretty much all I have on this episode for the day that was confirmed day 2022. As always, a huge shout out and thank you to my sponsors. Uh, like I said, I'll go over proxies more in depth next episode as far as Easy Day and what worked. But uh, I am working with a couple new companies, so definitely check them out below. I'm um, working with a couple new proxy companies. I'm working with Comet, which offers metered resis. So those are great. Uh, and then Wolves and Lemon are also good companies that have been around for a, you know, in, been around for a while if you've been in the game. Uh, so I do have discount codes for those below. So definitely check them out. And I'm like I said, I mentioned a uh, Gmail company, Bliss Gmails last time that I was using an API key from, uh, that worked well. So again, if you need any of these services, just check them out below. I've got all of the information down there. If you need discount codes, if you need the Discord invite, it's down there. Anyways, that's all for this video today. Uh, as always, thank you for watching me ramble on about selling sneakers. Uh, I know yesterday was a tough day for a lot of you. Uh, just try to regroup, do the best you can, try to learn from it, uh, see if your Gmails were working, right? Even if you are botting on a small scale, right? If you weren't passing Splash at all, right? Look at your Gmails, right? Make sure that you're testing them in AYCD, see if they're improving, see what you need to add to them, see if you need to add two-factor authentication. Uh, I can say yesterday my Gmails worked really well. So like I said, I'll get into that in the live cop, which I'll have up in a couple days, but you know, if you want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, I do post on there daily. So the handles for those are below. But other than that, like I said, just check back in a couple of days. 
I'll have that live cop up. And until next time, see ya.